I'll expand on that a little bit as well. <clears throat> um, if you know me, you know that this is where I'm from. I grew up in these halls. So do I want to see it go away? Do I want to see it turn into a middle school? Not exactly, no. Um, but the mayor said something at a meeting I attended um, roughly a year ago that if you're going to have a discussion or if there's going to be a discussion, you're better off having a seat at the table than not being involved at all. So if we totally removed ourselves from it, then we wouldn't have somebody that's done as good a job as Erica and Jonathan has. Yes. So, and with that being said, um, the, that entire committee gets vilified on a regular, almost a weekly basis on social media. I have to take up for them because uh, most of those people are my friends. Um, I either know them from uh, their, everybody knows everybody here, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how, that's how we know. We know who they are or we have a close, closer relationship with them. They've been vilified and it's not exactly been fair to them because they were asked to do something. Whether you agree with it or not, there are individuals on the board and she told you here tonight, she disagreed with it. She knew it was great work being done, but she didn't exactly like it. <clears throat> so Josh, Toby, Carrie, Lee, I appreciate you guys being here tonight. And I didn't just hear every word you said. I felt every word you said. All right? Now, I'm using your first names for a reason. Because that's what we do in a small town. Now, I also wish that you guys would have been coming around for the last couple of months. Um, it's good to see new faces. Um, and I don't see the people that typically come to discuss this topic with us. Um, but I would love to be able to hear, to hear the things that you said tonight um, beforehand and maybe multiple times. Um, so if there's additional uh, time for you to attend and discuss, I would encourage you to do so. Um, you don't have to, again, I know I'm repeating myself, you don't have to agree with something to have an open mind about it or discuss it. And just because it's being discussed doesn't mean it's going to happen. I know there's people out there that think they can will things to happen by continually bringing it up, by continually talking about it. That's not always the case. That's not how you convince me. Okay? There is a lot of data here that we have been presented with just most recently that we have to review. And we have a date set in the future in which we will make a decision. This board will make a decision as a board. Yes. Whether that's 3, 2, 4, 1, 5, 0, whatever it is, we will have to make a decision. That day has come. Now, we are not the only ones that are involved in this process. The county school board, city council, and the board of supervisors. I hope, because I don't attend their meetings, I don't always feel the need to do so, but I just hope that they are hearing the same things we're hearing. And if that's the case, somebody can tell me. So I would like to think that all those individuals on those boards are getting the same thing from the entire community. If that's the case, then whatever one believes would be the outcome should feel confident in that. So with that being said, to my fellow board members, the individuals that served on the committee, and the committee itself, I have a great deal of respect for them. Um, and I support them. They have done good work, and they have done good in reporting to us, answering our questions, and the best possible uh, job they can do answering you guys' questions. Um, I know there's a lot of they and a lot of um, 
hidden agenda discussion and things like that. It, right now, it's time to look past that because we are going to be faced with a day in which we have to, to vote. Definitely. It will be presented to us to do that. And on that day, we will make a decision. But again, I feel everything you're saying. I'll leave it at that. Thank you.